begin with the comment portfolio section begins then portfolio section ends then create a section tag and write class attribute and the value as section hyphen padding then id as portfolio and this is the same text that we have used as the target for the portfolio link in the navigation bar then get inside and create a div tag and write class as container write a comment title text create a div tag and write class as row then get inside and create another div tag with class call hyphen sm hyphen 12 then create a h2 tag and write class as title space text hyphen center then write the text as let's then create a span tag and give the class as decorate and write the text within span tags as c s double e so this text is going to be in cursive font style then get outside the span tags and write my work see where this div tag with class row ends and then get outside that div tag you can see the title of the portfolio section then create a div tag outside the div tag containing the class row write class as container then get inside and create another div tag with id as my hyphen grid then class as grid hyphen padding let me just quickly add a comment then get inside and create another div tag with class row then again create a div tag with class call hyphen sm hyphen 4 and since we are going to have three columns of images let me create two more div tags with the same class call hyphen sm hyphen 4 so that we get a total of 12 all right so the first div tag is going to be the first column the second div tag will be the second column and the third one will be the third column then get inside the first div tag with the class call hyphen sm hyphen 4 and create a div tag with class row then within this div tag create a img tag and write source as img forward slash then you can see the name of the images all right then write portfolio 01.jpg space class as fit hyphen image we are going to style this class in the css so that we are able to fit these images properly in the image grid then space on click attribute then write open model open bracket close it semicolon current slide within bracket write one what we want is that when we click on this image this open model function should be executed which we are going to define later in the javascript and after that we want this current slide function to be executed or in simple word clicking on this image will open up the full screen image viewer or the full screen slideshow and this image is going to be the first image because we are giving it the slide index of one save it refresh it in the browser let's see the sequence of image that i have created in the example web page so that we can follow the same sequence copy this entire div tag with class row containing this img tag copy this one and paste it three more times so that we get four images
and the first image is the zero one the second one is the zero four the third one is the zero five and the fourth one is the zero one all right now let's change the index first one in the first then second then third and then fourth all right refresh and all the four images are there so let's copy these four div tags defining the four images and paste it inside the div tag containing this class col hyphen sm hyphen four paste it let's change the index before i forget five six seven eight copy this paste it change this to nine now let's change the images the first one to zero two then zero four zero five zero one and then zero three then copy all these five div tags and paste them inside this one so that we have five images in the last column let me just quickly add some comments then let's change the index 10 11 12 13 14 then let me just copy this last image paste it and this one to 15 all right so we have 15 images in total first one is 4 then 1 then two then three then again two and last one is five and so we have completed the html part and we have defined all of the images now let's move to the css and start styling them write hash portfolio because that is the id of the portfolio section then background hyphen color as hash f o f1 e9 let's refresh the images are on top of each other right now they are sort of overlapping so now let's fix that by styling this fit hyphen image class because we have used this class with all of the images dot fit hyphen image then height as 100% then width as 100% refresh all right now let's style the title dot title font hyphen size 24 pixels margin hyphen bottom 50 pixels and now let's style the image grid and add some padding around the images write hash my hyphen grid and margin hyphen top 50 pixels refresh all right then write dot grid hyphen padding padding zero space eight pixels all right padding is there on the left and on the right now let's add padding around the images right dot grid hyphen padding because that is the container class then space img which is the image tag you can see this is the grid hyphen padding class and these are the img tags inside it margin hyphen bottom 15 pixels transition 
and 0 0.8 seconds is copy this paste it then add colon hover we can remove this margin hyphen bottom property and add box hyphen shadow 0 space 10 pixels space 40 pixels space 0 space rgba open bracket 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 that is three zeros followed by a 0 0.5 and the last one is the alpha which defines the transparency now let's refresh and you can see we have this little bit of space below all the images and also we have this hovering effect now let's add padding to the sides write dot call hyphen sm hyphen 4 padding hyphen right 30 pixels because the images are aligned in separate columns now it is looking just like the one we have in our example web page so with this we have completed the portfolio section as well and now we need to start with the image viewer or the full screen slideshow using model 